in the AFL Grand Final. The 36ers look set for a long season, shot down by the Bullets in Brisbane. And it might be a week away, but petrol heads are already climbing the mountain. It's not women's sport, it's sport. And it's growing every single day. We've got the passion, the drive, the will to win. We are the Aussie Cricket Team. And this is what we're about. The Aussies take on the West Indies live and free tomorrow on 7 Mate. There are four young souls searching the heavens for an angel to set them free. All we have to do is make the greatest hostage video ever. They want to be famous. These people are going to kill us. How'd we go? Did it look real? Spectacular. Yeah! The Stan Original Series Court, now streaming only on Stan. The Plush Spring Sale oh. is on now, with up to 40% off selected leather and fabric sofas, recliners and armchairs. Save up to 40% off at the Plush Spring Sale, on now. Think sofas, think plush. What are you doing? Reserving an Uber ride for 90 minutes from now. Why? Illusion and Ultimate, our biggest ever massive end of season sale in history. Wood heaters and gas block fires up to 50% off. Wood heaters from $6.49. Gas block fires from $19.99. 355 Main North Road Enfield. This is Pain Relief. Powered by nature. From the makers of Panadol. All eyes on me. This is Pananatra. Planning a funeral can be complicated and expensive, but it doesn't have to be. With three affordable packages, we make funeral planning the way it should be. Affordable. Simple. Thanks. Who's that? My insurance people. I was doing my claim. Huh. Sounded like someone local. Yeah. Every day, unexpected things happen. But when you're insured with RAA, your claims will be handled here in SA. Keep on moving on. New Fairy 30 Minute Miracle works in just 30 minutes. It dares to show what really happens inside your dishwasher. Fairy rehydrates and breaks down tough baked on food in 30 minutes. Miracle. No pre wash, no rewash. Try it. At the Plush Spring Sale, save 40% off the Isla Extendable Shays, now only $29.90. Featuring two electric sliding seats, incredible value, only $29.90. Think so first, think plush. Here we go, boys! Take on the fun this AFL Grand Final with the Ladbrokes' popular Same Game Multi. See which bets are trending with punters. It's for those that love hot bets as much as they love... Hot pies! Oh. Ladbroken, this Grand Final. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website. Ryan Reynolds is a video game hero with heart. It's like my tongue at a baby with a sunrise. Free Guy. Premieres tonight, 7.30 on 7 and 7 Plus. This sport report is brought to you by Ladbrokes. Take on the fun this footy season. Ladbroke it. Chances are you're about to lose. Welcome back to the MCG, where Collingwood is toasting a record equaling 16th Premiership. The Magpies led at every change, but the Lions kept coming right until the end. Bobby Hill's four first half goals earned him the Norm Smith medal. Sweet 16 for the Magpie Army. Collingwood win the grand final! They've been the close finish kings for two years. Their crowning moment, the narrowest grand final victory for Collingwood in over a century. A moment of pre-game calm before the chaos to be a fly on the wall in these magpie rooms. Former school teacher McRae has made footy fun all year, no different on the biggest day of all. Time for two footy heavyweights to face off, led by their captain. Collingwood entered the ring with a customary smile. Not many dads get to wish their son good luck this close to the first bounce. A wayward hand gave the Pies' young superstar a chance to get things underway. Never in doubt. 
A brilliant tap from Oscar McInerney set up Zach Bailey for Brisbane's first. His second, a solo effort from the top draw. He breaks loose. Miracle goal. What a goal from Bailey. The Pies then down a crucial key defender. He's in trouble. Nathan Murphy's jaw rattled by the shoulder of Lincoln McCarthy. Yeah, that's nasty hit. Collingwood with a 10-point lead after the quarter-time siren. And it's going to be a big-time moment. Jordy Degoe! That high, tempered by the raw emotion of Murphy after being told his day was done. The shattered magpie consoled on the bench. Lift-off for the Lions. Brisbane's electric forward line living up to its reputation with a thrilling five-goal burst. Shut the gate. The Pies anything but down and out. Hill! What a grab looking straight into the sun. Wow, look at that for a Hill's hoist. A Bobby Hill hanger to match what was a grand final first half for the ages. Six lead changes. The Pies up by a goal at the main break. Got it. Shoulder it right. Came back on the left. And Hill's kick four. A tense third term as the goal scoring flood slowed to a trickle. Goal Brisbane. A selfless hill the set up the former captain, back. Scott Penderbury, Penderbury had never tense. kicked a goal in his really five grand tense. finals. He's jammed at home. 18 Very anxious final move. term minutes without ball, a goal. Ball, Cameron ball. put one Brisbane hand Charlie on the cup Cameron. with five Just and a half to go. Still keeps his feet and kicks a goal. The Lions are in front. Before Dugowie ripped Dugowie the lead move. right back. Around. He's set it and he's got it. Dugowie's kicked the goal and put Collingwood back in front. A 50-metre penalty put Steel side bottom within range. Steel side bottom. Wowee! But Tim as Hugh McCluggage tiptoed the boundary line, the Lions Shoot had one last McCluggage. chance. Danaher plays on and kicks a goal. With a minute 20 on the clock, Lockie Neal was legged. Off. Here go Brisbane. I think and the advantage has paid Brisbane. Brisbane's way. That is ridiculous. They didn't even know it was their free kick. The Pies able to ice the clock. Their three finals wins coming by a combined 12 points. Andrew McCormack, 7 years. In the AFLW, Port Adelaide missed a golden chance to lock up its second win of the season after going down by a goal against the battling Eagles in the West. The Power had plenty of scoring opportunities going into the halftime break with one goal seven, but their composure and lack of discipline cost them the game. Gemma Horton was dangerous notching a milestone. And it does give Port the opportunity. Houghton lays the boot into it and hits a big milestone for her AFLW career. Goal number 50. Next week, they host Sydney at Alberton on Saturday. The Adelaide 36ers have gone down in their opening game of the new NBL season, beaten by the Bullets in Brisbane last night. Despite the 15-point loss, Sixers coach CJ Bruton says he won't be rushed into filling the final import spot on the roster. Despite dire pre-season predictions, the Sixers looked anything but wooden spooners in the opening quarter, scoring the first 15 points of the game. Trey Cal rolls it into Humphreys. They just look like a team on a mission, Lee. But after quarter time, the scoring dried up. Adelaide launched a fourth quarter fight back with Isaac Humphreys finishing with 17 points and Jacob Wiley 15. But they couldn't stop the Bullets, claiming an 86 to 71 win. You know, we're still trying to find ourselves. Got bodies coming in and out. Uh, I feel like moving forward, we're taking steps, we're getting better, and um, we're moving on from this and looking to get a win at home. The Sixers host Melbourne United tomorrow afternoon. Aussie wicketkeeper Alyssa Healy will celebrate her 250th game in green and gold tomorrow when Australia hosts the West Indies in the first T20 of the summer. And USA's hopes of a first Ryder Cup win on European soil in 30 years lay in ruin after just one day in Rome. World number three John Rahm chipped in from everywhere as Europe surged to a record equaling five point lead. <laughs> Oh, for goodness sake, what a shot from John Rahm. Rahm, Victor Hovland and Justin Rose all hold putts on the 18th to seal USA's first ever winless day. Play got underway today with a tribute to the late Seve Ballesteros as Europe made another hot start. Robbie Cornthwait, 7 News. Chris Waller added another reason why he's Australia's top trainer, taking out his fifth Epsom at Royal Randwick today. Radina won by a nose ahead of another Waller runner, Kovliaka. Golden mile in front from Radina. Kovalika wide out. Radina! Radina just won it, I take. It's Waller's 152nd Group 1 win.
And we just had to show you these pictures of people arriving at Mount Panorama to secure campsites eight days before the famous Bathurst 1000. Hundreds of fans have been lined up since the early hours of Friday morning. So how do you feel being first up the hill for the 60th year? Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> and how long have you been in the queue? Uh, Yesterday lunchtime. Even though the race doesn't start till next weekend, fans have found a way to keep themselves busy and hydrated. The 60th Great Race is live on 7 and 7 Plus from Friday. That is our sports, Smith. I reckon that looks like your kind of weekend on the mountain up there, ready for the Bathurst next weekend. Smith, what do you reckon? <laughs> Not quite, Bruce, but I'm sure you'll keep yourself hydrated there in Melbourne with a big win, thanks to that. While the AFL might be dominating headlines and other sports making a comeback, the Rubik's Cube has exploded in popularity since 